economic indicators. In this video, you will learn that economic indicators of a country affect the value of a currency and they are released as reports. We will discuss the following economic indicators interest rates and inflation. Economic indicators measure how strong an economy is. It is important to understand how strong an economy is because the strength of an economy has an impact on the value of the currency. These indicators are released as reports and the publishing times are released ahead of the actual publication. Interest rates are one of the most important drivers of the currency markets. They are normally set by a country's central bank. For the United States, interest rates are set by the Federal Reserve Bank and for the Eurozone, the European Central Bank is responsible for setting the interest rates. The central banks use the interest rates to promote economic growth or to curb inflation. Let's take a look at the mechanisms behind this. The central bank of a country lends money to commercial banks and the interest rates set by the central bank are what the commercial banks have to pay for borrowing the money. This is referred to as the base interest rate. These commercial banks also lend money to people that want to buy things, such as a house. The minimum interest they have to pay is the minimum based on the interest the central bank has set. So, if the central bank changes the interest rate, the interest rate a commercial bank charges also changes. Now let's have a closer look at how the interest rates specifically affect a country's currency. When the central bank increases the interest rates, the cost of borrowing goes up. This means that homeowners now have to pay more on their mortgages and, as an effect, have less money to spend on commercial goods. Therefore, the demand for these goods, like cars, will go down. Manufacturers are now faced with a lower demand for their goods and are not able to raise the price that much. Therefore, raising interest rates will curb the economy by decreasing the demand for goods and services and will reduce inflation. However, when the economy is not doing so well, the central bank might want to decrease the interest rates to stimulate the economy. Now, when the interest rates are lower, a homeowner spends less on his mortgage and therefore has more money to buy other goods and services like cars. These goods need to be produced, so by lowering interest rates, production will rise and thereby stimulate economic growth. Of course, it is not just mortgages that are affected by interest rates. Factories and other areas of industry borrow money to invest in growth. When interest rates are low, the cost of borrowing is low. Business owners will be more inclined to grow their business and will therefore borrow money. This money is invested in the economy, spurting further growth. On the other hand, when interest rates rise, business owners will not continue to invest as much because it is more expensive for them to do so the economy will slow down as a result of less money invested. A higher interest rate means that you gain higher rates of return for the money you hold in your savings account. This is also why higher interest rates benefit those who have savings. If one country has a higher interest rate than another country, money will flow into the country with the higher interest rate because investors will get more interest on their money. Because the country with the low interest rate currency has to be exchanged for the country with the higher interest rate currency, this increases the demand for the higher interest rate currency, and the currency appreciates in value. Inflation measures the rate at which prices of goods and services rise in a given period. If inflation is too high, prices increase significantly and therefore reduce the purchasing power of money. In other words, the disposable income that consumers have is reduced. This can have a negative effect on the economy, and hence the currency. However, if a country experiences low inflation, prices become stagnant or rise too slowly. Investors could see this as an indication that the economy is not as strong. Therefore, this could also have a negative effect on the value of a currency. To protect consumers from excessive inflation, central banks will tend to raise interest rates. This is because it reduces the spending power that consumers have and so there is reduced demand for goods and services. Under reduced demand, the price for goods and services are kept to an optimal rate. When inflationary data is higher than expected, traders may buy the currency of a country in anticipation of an interest rate hike from the central bank. However, 
It depends on the economic conditions because excessive inflation could erode the value of any capital within that economy, which means that the value of the currency could decline. The terms hawkish and dovish refer to how a central bank will manage the balance between inflation and growth. If a central bank is concerned about inflation, it is considered hawkish and is more likely to adopt a higher interest rate. If a central bank is concerned about growth, it is considered dovish and is more likely to adopt a lower interest rate. So far, you have learned that economic reports measure how strong an economy is. Economic reports published throughout the year and the publishing time are released ahead of time. Interest rates are one of the most important drivers of a currency. They can be used as a tool by a central bank to either reduce inflation or stimulate the economy. Inflation measures how quickly the price of goods and services rise. Central banks will try to target an acceptable rate of inflation. Hawkish and dovish refer to how the central bank will manage inflation and growth. Traders use these reports to determine the effect that it has on the value of a currency.